Good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday. Hope you found a local church to go visit and worship um, with fellow believers this morning. Thank you for starting your day with us. Uh, our topic from today.refrainmedia.com is look and live. And we're going to be reading out of the English Standard Version of the Bible, Numbers chapter 21, verses 4 through 9. So from the Mount of War, they set out by the way to the Red Sea to go around the land of Edom. And the people became impatient on the way, and the people spoke against God and against Moses. Why have you brought us out of Egypt to die in the wilderness? For there is no food and no water, and we loathe this worthless food. Then the Lord sent fiery serpents among the people, and they bit the people, so that many of Israel died. And the people came to Moses and said, We have sinned, for we have spoken against the Lord and against you. Pray to the Lord that he may take away the serpents from us. So Moses prayed for the people, and the Lord said to Moses, Make a fiery serpent and set it on a pole, and everyone who is bitten, when he sees it, shall live. So Moses made a bronze serpent and set it on a pole. And if a serpent bit anyone, he would look at the bronze serpent and live. So some people like snakes, but a lot of us don't. I'm one of them. We see them as dangerous and even sneaky and suspicious. Israel didn't like snakes either. Poisonous snakes caused many of the Israelites to die after grumbling against God. Snakes commonly live in the wilderness, but they can also be seen as a symbol of power. Perhaps because Israel complained that they were better off in Egypt, some people have noted that snakes were a symbol of power in Egypt, for they were often displayed on the crowns of Egypt's kings. So people have suggested that in sending venomous snakes, maybe God was saying, do you really want to go back to the Pharaoh's struggle, stinging deadly power? Is Egypt really better? Of course, snakes can also remind us of the deceiving serpent in Eden. What's surprising is that God's cure for Israel was to look at a bronze snake lifted up on a pole. By doing that, Israel was looking in faith to the Lord's power to heal. Only God could cure, and the people needed to look to Him with, uh, with eyes of faith. In John 3, 14 and 15, Jesus said, Just as Moses lifted up the snake in the wilderness, so the Son of Man must be lifted up, that whoever believes in Him may have eternal life. Jesus was lifted up on the cross so that we can be forgiven and healed. So, are you trusting in Him so that you can be saved? Let's pray. Jesus, we worship you as the crucified Christ. As we worship today, may we look to you with eyes of faith. In your name, amen. Um, I'm not a big fan of snakes, um, but I definitely get the symbolism here. I understand it is very powerful. Um, so, you know, it's... We've, we've we've talked about this a lot. Is you know the nation the the Israelites seemingly in a seemingly inability to actually be faithful for more than a minute um, is a lesson for us all. And like and we've talked about this before. So I just want to say this. You know, be strong in your faith when things look the darkest. That's when you need to get on your knees and pray. Look up to Him. Don't look in the mirror. Don't look down. Don't look up. Look up to Him. Provide you the guidance and the answers you need. We love you guys. Hope you have a great Sunday. Get ready for another work week. Take care. God bless. And we'll see you tomorrow morning. Bye, everybody.